How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to go over the pros and cons of the of the Surface tablet with RT. And um, had a chance to play with this um, new Microsoft uh, Windows tablet. And I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, it's got some really awesome things about it. A lot of things going for it. I kind of want to just show this with you today. Um, so let's go over the pros first. Uh, first things first. Um, this uh, tablet here has some great uh, options in terms of keyboards. So uh, if you've never actually played with it or don't know a lot about it, there's two keyboards that are offered that are specific keyboards for it. And I'm going to show you real fast here. This is the type keyboard. No, yeah, this is the type keyboard. We also have what's called the touch keyboard. And um, it's literally full size. It's a full size keyboard. And um, the type keyboard is the best one. It's very responsive. It's light. Um, it's the one you see on the commercial that just snaps. You know, they kind of make that little <laughs> excuse me, that little joke about how how they snap. And um, the keyboard is great. I mean, you can type for a long time without a lot of errors. So that's a, a big plus on it that you can get these keyboards and really have a great smooth typing experience. This is a tablet that you can literally fold up and take anywhere, put it down and type, and you literally have um, a computer uh, right in front of you. And that's my next pro is that this is the only tablet that is a full computer. Okay, there are a lot of great tablets in the market, but they're not computers. Um, the fact that um, you can go on the web and have a full web browsing experience without having to worry about downloading like Flash, um, you know, certain sites not being compatible, and constantly loading mobile sites. You don't have any of those problems here. Um, now, I said something just now. Um, you probably would have to update Flash if a website needed it. I mean, that's something that you would do on a computer. But the main point I'm making is that there's things I've been able to do on this uh, tablet that I, that I can't do on any other tablet. One of the things, for example, um, when I edit my YouTube videos, I, uh, there's a part where I have to add these extra things called annotations and I can only do them through uh, a full computer because tablets just don't give you the functionality because the browser is not a full browser. Well, this tablet is giving you a full internet experience. You don't have to worry about certain sites not working and incompatibility issues. So that's another plus is that it's a full web browsing experience, not having to worry about you know not being able to run this, run that. You can go to sites and listen to podcasts, watch movies, all that, and you wouldn't have any problems. So that's a great plus right there. Next pro is that it does have a full size keyboard. Oh, excuse me, not keyboard. Full size USB port, so you can plug in anything from an external hard drive to a flash drive to a printer to a mouse, and you can use it the same way you use a computer. So it's a great plus. You can also even plug up a uh, an external drive, a DVD drive or CD drive, and you can run things off of there as well. So uh, again, this is like having a computer and carrying a computer with you. So that's what I love about it, and I'm going to continue to stress that throughout this uh, uh, pros and cons video. The next thing, it does have a micro USB slot on it as well. So if you have expandable memory, uh, for example, if you want to expand memory, you could use a memory card or a flash drive or a hard drive, or if you just have pictures on your cell phone or a memory card with that micro USB, you can just pop it in, and you'll be able to see them right from the tablet. So uh, it makes it real simple that it has it on there, and it's definitely important that they uh, did include that. Um, next thing is going to be uh, processor wise, it has a great processor, it does have the ARM processor which is by uh, Tegra and um, uh, runs nice and fast. From what I've heard it runs almost the equivalent of an i5 uh, and that's a give or take on certain things but um, it's always a very smooth experience in terms of using it. Um, again, didn't have a lot of problems. Everything I want to do pretty much loaded. Um, the the one of the cons I'll throw in real quick is that the apps tend to take a little long to load, and I didn't really like that. That I don't know if it was kind of like the built into the app itself, but there were a lot of times where like you would tap something and the and the app would like have to to load, and it wasn't an internet issue. It was it was literally an issue with the apps. So. Even Netflix, like you would tap on a category and then you'd have to wait for a load to get to that section where normally that's usually pretty quick. So I'm not sure if that's just like a, because it's a new user interface, maybe that's why it took a little bit longer, but just kind of be aware of that. Um, the next thing is um, built-in kickstand on the side here. Um, 
It does come with this nice kickstand that you don't have to get separate. And uh, it's literally the perfect viewing angle, which is so awesome. Um, so again, anywhere you are, you can just stop, pop it up, and then start using it that fast. So I love that, not having to purchase an extra on that. You know, obviously Apple makes you purchase their their smart cover to be able to, um, you know, stand it up where they're saying, hey, we're going to include that with the tablet. So I like that. Um, next thing is um, it does come with a full version of Office, uh, full, uh, full version of Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Uh, which, as you know, for a computer, that can run you anywhere from 100 to $150. So right here, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Um, you don't have to purchase it. It is a full version of it. And, um, that, I mean, again, this is, you know, you're, you're making an investment on this tablet, and it's coming with so much arrays, things that you normally would have to invest more over if you were buying a regular computer. So uh, that's a great, great plus of this tablet right here. Um, and let's see let's go ahead and jump over to the cons first thing is it's a little heavy it's a little bit heavier than the other tablets that are on the market but i'll say this i'll turn this con into a pro or kind of put you in the middle on this one it's lighter than most computers that you purchase so um the fact that you, that you could carry this around and, and have a full computer for the weight is totally fine now if you're trying to compare it to the other tablets in the market it is a little bit heavier so kind of keep that in mind if you're trying to like switch from an ipad or a samsung galaxy the weight's going to be a little bit more but uh it's definitely worth the extra weight if you're looking for a full computer experience uh versus a, a tablet limited experience okay uh, the next thing is uh because this is the rt version not the full surface tablet that's 899 uh, you cannot load full programs on this. Uh, now, I know what you're saying. This is this kind of confused me at first, the fact that it is running Windows 8. It is, but you cannot load actual programs on it. And that was kind of a frustration for me because I'm thinking for $500, I can get an actual computer that's going to run programs and it'll have Windows 8. How come they couldn't include that functionality on this model? To get that, you'd have to upgrade to the 899 option. And I think that's a large jump for 899. You could buy a top of the line Ultrabook, uh, i5 processor, uh, 750 gigs of memory, uh, crazy specs. So I didn't really see the logic behind not giving consumers the full option to run their programs on this tablet. So you only have the, the options of the app market, and that's going to go into another con that I have is that the app selection is pretty limited right now. Um, and obviously, it's a new tablet. So, you know. It, you know, they can only push out so many. Now, this is kind of a cool thing. When it did launch, uh, the app selection was the most of any new operating system on a tablet. Or let me make sure I word this right. So basically, for a, a new product releasing with a whole new market, a new app store, it did have the, the biggest selection of apps. Um, but what my con is is that a lot of the apps that you know and love are not available yet. For example, Facebook is not on there. There's no Instagram. There's no Pinterest. Um, as you can see, I'm into social networking. Um, but there are another big selection. It does have like your Netflix. It has your Hulu. It has your Skype. It does have Evernote. So, um, you know, it has Angry Birds now. Also, to throw another con in there as well, the apps can be a little expensive on this tablet as well. Uh, me and my partner were kind of looking over it and we realized that apps that are normally free, um, you have to pay for it. For example, um, Angry Birds was like $5. And there were a couple others that were like $5 apps that normally are free on every other platform. So um, they're kind of hitting, the, hitting your pockets early and I didn't really like that. You know, limited selection and the apps are more expensive. So, you know, that... You know, that was kind of an iffy thing for me as well. Um, and I kind of mentioned this earlier, but I do feel like the tablet is a little pricey. Now, let me kind of weigh out what I mean by this. It's pricey because you're paying $500. Um, you have these options of these great keyboards, but they are, they're not included. So, imagine if you purchase this. Let's say you're trying to weigh out, should I buy a Surface tablet or should I buy a Windows 8 computer? Well, 500 bucks just for the tablet. Um, if you wanted to get one of the keyboards, you're looking at another hundred to hundred fifty dollars. So you've jumped all the way up to about six fifty. Now, uh, what supplements that cost is the fact that they are giving you Office 
on the tablet, which would normally cost you again between 100 and 150 on an actual computer. So that keyboard cost is kind of supplemented by the fact that you are getting that full software uh, built in. Um, so, I mean, you kind of have to weigh out what's more important. Obviously, what you're still losing is uh, memory. You're going to have to carry an external hard drive if you need to carry a lot of files. Uh, what they're pushing is their Sky Drive, which is going to allow you to store files and music in the cloud. But, you know, still a hard drive of 500 gigs versus uh, cloud storage still are not, are not an equal value yet because they're not giving you 500 gigs of storage. So all that is just some good information to keep into perspective. Um, the next thing I'll say for cons is that um, the speaker is nice and clear. It's got a good quality, but it doesn't go very loud. So that was kind of something that I liked but didn't like. You know, it's good. You can hear it, but uh, it doesn't really tweak. The, the sound doesn't get as loud as I would want it to get. Um, especially, obviously, you know, most computers don't come with speakers. Most laptops do. Um, so, you know, clear quality, but not that loud. Kind of would have preferred a, a better quality speaker in there with something that could give me a little bit more bass and things like that. Um, also, and this will be my last con right here, is simply that the, the limited customization, um, and I, I think for this one, I'm kind of comparing it to a lot of the other tablets in the market, especially a lot of the Android tablets. You do have full customization, you have widgets, you have different uh, ways you can customize the screen. And because of Windows 8 adopting the new tile format, which is what you see, these are different tiles here, the best you can do is resize the tiles, but that's it. You can't really, you know, like have your calendar on the front. You can't put a to-do list there. You can't, you know, have a Facebook uh, tile that's going to let you, like, see all your friends' updates, you know. So, um, I like Windows 8. It's nice. I, I hope that in the future they're going to add the ability to customize it, really make it your own, and you know, add widgets and things like that that will just uh, allow you to have a, a even better experience in that aspect too. So that's kind of my pros and cons right there. The Surface Tablet, um, I think it. it um, at the end of the day, it's a great buy. Uh, it's you know, it's 500 bucks, but um, there was a point when I was playing with it, and I was really contemplating should I get one of these because. I can totally see myself carrying this around, stopping at a coffee shop, and it's nice to have a full computer without the weight of a full computer at your fingertips. So, you know, I uh, hope you found this helpful, and I hope the information um, was, there was some new information that you didn't know. Uh, make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Uh, also, if you can subscribe to H2 Tech videos, and keep watching, we'll keep bringing you more videos and keeping you up to date on the latest technology, alright? Have a good one.